guys, Corinne Musser of Mucking Fusser here today to share with you this unconventional color combo water marble using one of my favorite brands, LVX. So let's go ahead and get started. To prep your nails for the water marble, you're going to want to start by painting your nails with a base coat of white, which really helps the design stand out. I use Cirque Colors Carpe Diem for my white, which is a really nice one coater. Next, you're going to want to cover up your nails so that no polish gets on them when you dip your finger into the water. Today, I'm using Liquid Palisade, which is like a liquid latex. You just apply it to your nails with the brush that comes with it and wait for it to dry. You can also cover up your nails with masking tape or scotch tape. I'm just using this today because I have it available and it's fun to use. I know there's many different types of this product on the market, but this is the one that I like to use. Now that I have my finger all prepped and ready, let's go ahead and get started with the water marble. Grab yourself a 3 ounce cup, plastic cup, or whatever cup you have that's kind of small, and fill it up with room temperature filtered water. The polishes I'm using today are from LVX. You may know that them, if you've seen my blog before, I absolutely love them. The colors I'm using are uh, Haze, which is this nice purple shimmery color. Nor, it's a little bit more metallic gray, and fuchsia, which is essentially a fuchsia. They all are a little bit shimmery, um, but they still work in the water, which makes me so happy. Um, so just keep dripping drops into the water until you have yourself a nice bullseye. You're going to want to make sure that you have polishes that work well in the water, in the water. so, you know, ones that spread out. I like to test out my combinations of polish before I use them just to see that make sure they work in the water. Now to begin making the design, get a sharp pointed tool and go from the middle of the cup to the outer part on adjacent sides. Next, after wiping off your tool, go from the outer part of the cup to the middle circle. Do this again but going from the middle circle to the outer part. It sounds hard but it's actually really easy. Keep doing this until you get a nice uh, even amount of designs. Always making sure to wipe off the tool that you're using, which can be a toothpick or an orange stick. Today I'm using a water marble tool from What's Up Nails. After you're done creating your design, maneuver your cup into a way that is easy to dip your nail. Make sure you are lining up your cup and your nail with the area you want to dip your nail into it. Once you feel comfortable, gently dip your nail onto the polish and submerge your full finger into the water. Gently blow onto the polish to dry it up a little bit and then take a stick or a tool to pick it up. This will help so that when you pull your finger out of the water, none of that polish will get onto your design. Next, to begin the cleanup process, cut up your latex underneath your finger and then remove it with some tweezers. If you're not using latex, then remove the two pieces of tape, which is how many I usually use, off your finger, making sure not to touch your design because it will be very, very sad. <laughs> I've done this quite a few times, um, but it's okay. It happens. You can always redo it. So as you can see, I've removed all of the liquid latex, and now I'm just going to clean up the rest of the polish that's on my finger with a Q-tip dipped in a nail polish remover. Always have a Q-tips handy when you're doing nail art. Also a good thing to have handy is a cleanup brush. I use e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, concealer brush dipped in nail polish remover to clean up the rest around next to the nail polish around my nail. And to finish it all off, seal in your manicure with a nice top coat. Today I'm using Cirque Colors Laminate Liquid Top Coat. Well there you have it you guys. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions please just ask me in the comments. Hope you have a great day. Bye!